All right, hello everyone. We are back, hole number six here. I'm gonna do another correction for you guys. Now, what I like for this is, uh, you know, another movie ball. So we're really going through this inventory on this tournament because this is gonna be two par threes where I'm using this because I do think it can increase the likelihood that you make it. Um, aside from that, you may want to just go with a kingmaker if you don't have it. Um, having that three side spin, in my opinion, is very valuable. Um, I think I am going to probably just stick with my movie balls for this tournament. I don't mind wasting them uh, because I really don't need the power here. So, so the fact that I don't need the extra third power here um, there's essentially no value in having, you know, Kingmaker on, for example. And the fact that I'm going to have a, probably a mile and a half mile per hour less of wind to play um, are pretty much probably the reasons that I'm just going to stick with Movie Ball. But like I mentioned, if you don't have Movie Ball, uh, in my opinion, the next best option is going to be a um, Kingmaker just for that, uh, you know, easy side spin and also wind reduction. That's the ticket on this hole, in my opinion. So, we are going to stick with QB here. And the way that I do it is, you know, at least five on the backspin here. Making sure that we give it enough to run out towards the hole. So, the way that you're going to see me set up is more you know, right on the hole, kind of like this. Maybe just keep it to the left, just slightly. Um, also notice the second bounce is on the fairway. That's just how I'm gonna be setting up here. Um, additionally, you know, we're gonna go into nine rings, nine and something here for this. And there you see, perfect ball. Let's see what I can get here. It's pretty good just too high wow come on jeez so i either need to you know start my aim just slightly more to the right um or as an alternate you know i can just put just a hair more curl on but you know i have that distance and control down um keep in mind that i do go about one ring beyond max there so this is a downhill approach, so you can't just use your max adjustment. It's going to be an under adjustment. Um, and more importantly for that under adjustment is you don't want it to be coming in hotter. So let's see what this one looks like. It looked like he went more max right on. And here, this is kind of what I mentioned. So see how it's coming in a little bit hotter and a little bit past the hole and almost back. That's what will happen if you don't adjust enough. So I really do recommend that over adjustment uh, very close to a ring, just so you don't have the ball coming in farther. Notice how my land zone is very close for the second hop as to how I set it up. So if I set up for that second hop to be right short of the green, when I do that over adjustment, it also hits just short of the green. So keep that in mind. Uh, for your shot as well. So that over adjustment really helps. The only thing we're missing is either just a little bit of curl or I just need to set up maybe just to the right of the pin with my ball guide. And here, especially with a QB, might as well just go for the island hop. I'm gonna try to predict the wind a bit. Maybe two. Um, we are towards min club. Notice how I can't see any of the ball guide or anything, so I'm just going to wing it, which I'm okay with. That's probably about four rings. We're going to go right around nine, maybe right in here. Let's try this. Let's see what it looks like. I like going with, uh, you know, I just like kind of learning a little bit, so I'm just kind of hitting the shot, and it looks like I... I did the wrong side spin, but the speed was perfect. I just like, you know, kind of hitting more creative shots. I've never tried that, so I wanted to just give it a whirl. 
Whereas I could have just probably, you know, hit the shot from the tournament and been very, very close that way. Um, I just wanted to kind of just see another, another perspective. So, um, I do expect I'm probably going to lose this shootout because of the side spin I put on. I felt I had a pretty good chance had I not done that, but with that, with me messing up, my, my wind was angled more than, more than that wind, so I'm not sure why they were so different, because this is almost dead on straight. Um, well, I still might win. It's going to be tight. So, overcorrection. I did hold on there. Um, you can see the max, max spin, back spin there is good. Um, and I just keep picking up silvers. That's got to be the last silver before gold gotta be but anyway good luck with that sixth hole guys and uh, i'll see you guys for hole seven momentarily